ever wondered why some traders seem to have a sixth sense about the market's direction? It's not magic, it's understanding candlestick chart patterns. These are visual tools used widely in Forex trading that help traders make informed decisions about the market's future direction. They're like the secret language of the market, and once you understand them, you've got a powerful tool at your disposal. In this video, we're going to explore eight key candlestick patterns. Pennants, symmetrical triangles, flags, ascending triangles, descending triangles, head and shoulders, double tops and double bottoms. Each pattern gives us unique insights about market sentiment and can help us determine where to enter, set our stop loss and take profit. Remember, mastering these patterns isn't just about recognizing shapes on a chart, it's about understanding what these shapes tell us about the balance between buyers and sellers. So buckle up as we dive into the world of candlestick chart patterns. Let's start with pennants and symmetrical triangles, two powerful continuation patterns. Imagine pennants as small symmetrical triangles that form during a strong volatile market move. They sort of look like a flag on a pole, don't they? This pattern is a pause in the price action, a consolidation after a large move, indicating the potential for a continuation of the trend. Now, how do we trade pennants? The entry point is typically right after the price breaks out of the pennant in the direction of the preceding trend. That's your cue to jump in, but remember, timing is everything. As for your stop loss, it's generally placed just outside the pennant before the breakout. This minimizes potential losses if the price goes against your prediction. And the take profit point? Well, that's usually the same distance as the size of the previous move. Let's move to symmetrical triangles now. Picture a pattern where the price range narrows as the market moves for an extended period. The result? A series of lower highs and higher lows that meet at a point. That's your symmetrical triangle. Trading symmetrical triangles is a bit like trading pennants. The entry point is at the breakout, but this time it can be in either direction. The stop loss is just outside the triangle before the breakout, and the take profit is the same distance as the widest part of the triangle. Consider a live trading example. Suppose we've got a bullish market. We spot a pennant or a symmetrical triangle, and we see a breakout upwards. We enter the trade, set our stop loss just below the pattern, and set our take profit at a distance equal to the prior trend for pennants, or the widest part of the triangle. If the market continues its bullish trend, we're in for a win. Master these patterns, and you're one step closer to becoming a seasoned trader. Next, we'll delve into flags and ascending triangles. Stay tuned. Next up, we have flags and ascending triangles, patterns that signal a potential bullish continuation. Flags are small rectangles that slope against the prevailing trend. Picture a flag waving in the wind on a forex chart. The flagpole is the strong price move, while the flag itself represents a period of consolidation. Now, how do you trade using flags? First, identify the flag formation. Once you see a breakout above the upper trend line of the flag, that's your cue to enter the trade. Your stop loss should be just below the lower trend line of the flag. And as for the take profit point, it's usually the same distance as the height of the flagpole added to the breakout point. Let's move on to ascending triangles. These are formed by a horizontal line of resistance and an ascending trend line. It's like a stairway leading up to a wall. The price tries to break the resistance level multiple times, creating higher lows each time, hence the ascending trend line. Trading with ascending triangles is similar to trading with flags. The breakout above the resistance level is your entry point. The stop loss is placed just below the lowest point of the ascending triangle. Your take profit point is calculated by adding the height of the triangle from the resistance level to the lowest point to the breakout point. For example, if we were live trading with the EUR USD pair and we spotted an ascending triangle pattern, we'd wait for the price to break above the resistance level. Once it does, we enter the trade. If the lowest point of the triangle was 1.1200 and the resistance level was at 1.1300, your take profit point would be 1.1400, assuming the breakout occurred at the resistance level. Remember, these are general guidelines. Market conditions can and do change, so it's important to stay flexible and adjust accordingly. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep an eye out for these patterns in your trading. 
Moving on to descending triangles and the infamous head and shoulders, bearish signals that can alert you to potential downturns. First, let's dive into descending triangles. Imagine a triangle resting on its flat base, with the peak pointing downward, that's a descending triangle. It forms when the market makes lower highs and similar lows, creating a downward sloping upper trend line and a flat lower trend line. This pattern indicates a potential selling pressure as sellers are more aggressive than buyers. How do you trade this pattern, you might ask? When the price breaks below the lower trend line, it's your cue to enter a sell position. Your stop loss should be just above the most recent high within the triangle, providing a safety net if the price unexpectedly rises. For your take profit point, measure the vertical distance from the triangle's base to its peak and subtract that from the breakout point. Now let's talk about the head and shoulders pattern. Picture a formation with a higher peak in the middle and two lower peaks on either side, like a distorted silhouette of a person from the shoulders up. This is a classic reversal pattern that indicates a potential shift from an uptrend to a downtrend. Trading the head and shoulders is similar to the descending triangle. Your entry point is when the price breaks below the neckline, the support level connecting the two lows. Your stop loss should be above the head and your take profit point is calculated by measuring the vertical distance from the head to the neckline and subtracting that from the breakout point. Let's see these patterns in action. Imagine a live trading scenario where you spot these patterns forming. Remember, these are potential bearish signals and could be your cue to prepare for a sell position, setting your stop loss and take profit points accordingly. These patterns can be your early warning system for potential market downturns. So, keep your eyes peeled for descending triangles and head and shoulders as you navigate the thrilling world of Forex trading. Finally, we've got double tops and double bottoms, classic patterns that can help predict price reversals. These are patterns that evoke the timeless dance of the bull and the bear, a dance that can reward those who can read its steps. Picture a mountain range in your mind. The double top pattern is just like that, with two peaks of nearly equal height. This pattern tends to form in an uptrend and signals a potential reversal to the downside. When the price drops below the low point or the valley between the two peaks, the signal's your entry point. The stop loss should be placed just above the highest peak and the take profit level is calculated by the height of the pattern. Now let's flip that mountain range upside down. You're now looking at a double bottom pattern. This pattern forms in a downtrend and signals a potential reversal to the upside. It's a mirror image of the double top. When the price rises above the high point or the peak between the two valleys, that's your cue to enter the trade. The stop loss is positioned just below the lowest valley and the take profit level is, again, determined by the height of the pattern. For example, let's say we're looking at a live trading scenario. The EUR-USD pair forms a double top pattern. The price drops below the valley, signalling an entry point. The stop loss is placed above the highest peak and the take profit is set by the height of the pattern. These patterns are not foolproof, of course, but they're tools. And like any tool, they're only as good as the trader who wields them. Learning to read these patterns and act on them is a skill one that can be honed with practice and patience. With these patterns, you're well equipped to navigate the highs and lows of the market. And there you have it, eight candlestick chart patterns that can significantly improve your trading strategy. We've journeyed through pennants, symmetrical triangles, flags, ascending triangles, descending triangles, head and shoulders, double tops and double bottoms. Each pattern a unique tool in the arsenal of a successful trader, guiding you on where to enter, where to set your stop loss, and where to take your profit. Looking ahead, we'll be diving into the realm of risk-reward ratios and leverage, keys to long-term sustainability in the bustling world of Forex trading. We'll unravel the mysteries of finding the perfect balance between risk and reward, and how to leverage your trades for maximum profitability. Remember, the more you learn, the better a trader you become. So, share your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to The Guardian Forex TV for more trading insights.